Jack Lucina going to FT, the manliest stage of all time. <laughs> the GOAT. I love this stage. You can't hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, you can. <laughs> it's, there's not. There's nothing there to stop you. Like, it's like it's you know. It's <laughs> all right. Immediately oh, the pulling stiffs. out the stick. Oh, face. big damage. Lingling with the R and Jesus. <laughs> big big damage. Ooh. Oh, I like the wait. Yeah, I like the wait. Actually, uh, Lingling actually rolling into Mr. E, but uh, unfortunately, Mr. E not getting the punish that he wanted. The landing up there, not going to confirm Dude, he's any of that. He's but yeah, swinging. oh my god, another stitch, bro. Yo, yo, this RNG, bro. Like, oh did, 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 damn! God. Hey. Nice back air coming from Lingling. Ling. Safe on his booty. shield. Yeah, the, the thick girl. I do like how Lingling Ling is approaching this. He's uh, waiting for Mr. E to whip something before he can do it. And actually, just kind of using using those turnips to keep him at bay. Forward smash by Mr. E. Going to put Lingling Ling at a disadvantage in position. Oh my god. You know, this is an interesting stage pick coming from Mr. E, uh, Mr. e probably. I mean, they probably decided the ban because I usually know that Mr. E does not like to go to uh, Pokemon Stadium. He just, like, he hates that stage. Really? Yeah, it's weird. He plays me. He better go there. But he, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, he never goes to Pokemon Stadium. So, usually whenever he, uh, they, uh, he plays RPS, maybe he got the win on the RPS set. And um, probably ban Pokemon Stadium, which left FD um, open. Oh, immediate wall back here. Hey, I like the Trump into back here. Oh, Unfortunately, not going to close it. out wow. Lingling's stock. Oh, oh, no jump. No jump. All right, Mr. E feeling himself. And one thing that I, I, I do like about Mr. E is how much of a... Uh, how much of, enthusiasm of, and how much, like, I, I he feels I love for the game. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little head back. The, the, you see, like, he's still, he puts so much energy into the game. Of what's, watching the player cam against... Like, watching the player cam of Mr. E, he's just so into it, and he just... I love it. I love the enthusiasm. But we do see Lingling Ling sitting at a 19% um, and Mr. E at 113, I think, without a jump here. Is going to make it back to stage. And had it, it immediately catching up the jump. Good, a good option by Lingling. Ling. But now Mr. E has a turn up too. You want to go? We can go. All right. Uh, I, yeah, I just don't like the stage because it's just hard. Because right now Mr. E is having a hard time get, getting back on stage and getting anything going for him. Uh, not The stage not having platforms is kind of big. Uh, for Peach I, and against Lucina. You know, but these combos are definitely helping Lingling out. Great execution and just kind of walling out Mr. E. Oh, oh my god! He had he the air dodge read. He, yeah, he, read, he had the he air read dodge read. Okay. Understanding air. that she, uh, she, <coughs> wow. <laughs> Understanding that Peach can't, can't obviously shield in midair. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, as Lucina went, when, when. Oh, good counter. Great counter. Uh, this thing, when Lucina is, uh, when Peach is in the air, she can't shield. So oh, yeah, the shield, not going to take it. Oh, my God. There's, like, that's three, uh, two moves right there that we've seen the red sparks, and they have it. They've lied to us. It's a fraud. I like the drive coming out. And the, just the, the forward smash. smash. And E catch, definitely catching on to that right now, right? Yeah. If he's floating, I'm just going to swing because he can't do anything about it. <coughs> he can't, Excuse me. He can't flow cancel, but by the time that he does, oh, Oh, the oh! pistol. Oh, but he had a jump. Okay, tilt not going to do it. Oh, and the forward, good, uh, forward throw. Good tomahawk. I think tomahawks are really big for Peach because she has a little float, so you don't know what she's going to do. So she could just land with the uh, empty land and do, into uh, a grab. Yeah, and that's the scariest thing. Uh, you know, Lingling Ling so great with his movement oh. and float cancels. Oh. Oh. He's going in. He's going in. Oh, no, 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 no. That was close. Unfortunately, oh. I like this attempt to shield break, but we are still living out here. Yeah, Lingling not being able to see the side. Just hit. That just went through it. That just went right. through it. Yeah, that Mr. E with the face of like, what? That didn't have to hit. That, <laughs> that just went through it. That forward. I mean, I guess, you know, it's uh, item priority. Item priority. And since forward air is kind of, I'm not, I'm not going to say it is a disjoint, but it's kind of like a disjoint. Since, um... She has the crown, and she's just like she's slanging that crown. You know, that was definitely a great uh, option by Lilings, and understanding that he probably understood that. Hey, like you know, this is this is probably going to trade, and if it does, I'm definitely going to get the better of the situation. Yeah, because he's he's definitely kill percent, Mr. Mm -hmm. E. That is his thinking face, guys. He's trying to trying to trying to select what stage he's going to go to right now because it's going to be tough. <laughs> you it's saw a little tough. mouse sliding across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be tough though, you know, um, because when you when you go to FT, uh, this isn't necessarily a, a, a bad matchup. You know, I'd like to believe because, yeah, because by, of the fact that by any means, Peach is widely known that she struggles with sword, right? Yeah. So Mr. E knows that it's not, uh, it's not, a, it's not, um, uh, 
an, an insurmountable matchup, right? It's literally just based off, based off play, the player at this point. Ling Ling playing it so well, man. Taking these combos as, as far as he can get them. Mm -hmm. So we're on that stage lesson screen right now. Where are we going to go? He's hovering over Pokemon Stadium 1, but uh, that's not legal here. So Pokemon Stadium 2. <laughs> All right, we are going to Smashville. Yeah, this is a good pick, especially because it doesn't give um, Ling Ling enough as much space to uh, set up with turnips and like pull them out. Because now after the patch, uh, Peach does have a good amount of lag with the turnips when she pulls them. So let's see. And I also like that um, now Mr. E has a platform to work with instead of just having a big stage and no platforms. But we are going to see a quick 36%, 48, excuse me, coming from Ling Ling against Mr. E. You know, and, and Mr. E just looks like he's having having trouble going in. I, I, I like that, forcing the directional air dodge and actually just grabbing immediately. Oh, good down air. Not going to convert off of it, but still uh, ease the pressure. Okay, good. Great forward. Air. Oh! That was great spacing. Oh, oh he uh, angled the shield too far up. I like it. I like it. Understand that he's gonna charge. William goes charging up the forward smash. So why not? Why not do my shield breaker? If he wins, if it, if it wins, and don't, if it doesn't. Oh, good back here. He still has a jump, so he's gonna be able to float. Okay. Oh, Lingling popping the parasol. Oh, a bit too early. that was a big. That was a big brain play. He was like, he's gonna try to punish me. I'm gonna just get on stage for free, but oh, he has no jump. Uh, that was interesting. Yeah, that was very Even interesting. If he didn't, I mean, yeah, he, he didn't have, he, he didn't have a jump, but still, uh, I would expect the up at least. Hey, great up he had a shield. Only 12% though. Let's see how much uh, extra credit uh, Mr. E could just get out of this right now. Hey, great shield, shield going grab, yeah. Super low right now. Oh, good wait. No, now nah, he was gonna oh! call that He called that out. He almost he, called it out too, yeah. He called it out, he just barely misspaced it. You know, timing is key when and, and timing is key in situations like this. Yeah, most definitely. Against a character like Lin Lin too. Against a player like Ling Ling, a player like yeah. Ling Ling, especially against a character like Peach. Okay. That back air not going to be safe on shield. Mr. E being able to act out with a back air out of his shield. And we see now that Mr. E has a platform to work with, now he's facing his aerials, retreating back underneath the platform and working with everything that is given to him, especially now that Smashville is such a small stage. Yeah, and Lily, uh, one thing he is, one thing he isn't doing at, at this point is like he's he's getting punished uh, when he's when he's hitting Mr. E Shield at this point, mm -hmm. right? So what what he isn't doing? Uh, oh, what I want, what I want to not see, gonna take it, but that was really good. What I want to see is that he, you know, he, he's going for these tomahawks, he's going for these grabs, uh, because at this point, you know, if Mr. E, if Mr. E's constantly doing this, why not? Uh, that was hella deep. Yeah, he was out there. This yeah, back back might take it. Yeah, yeah that's right. it. Once he's present, you know, it's good percent. Sheesh, I don't know if my back, my character is back on the kill there. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we do see Ling Ling is sitting at uh, 133. Not there is indeed going to take it. Mr. E getting a lot of extra credit. And he is a very momentum-based player, so the fact that he is up a stock right now is only giving him the confidence to continue going. Great Tomahawk as we see him put the pressure on Ling Ling. Ling Ling cannot seem to find a way to, uh, to, 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 to stop all this. Great dash to <coughs> Not converting to the fair. <coughs> Hey, ooh, and there, I'll be at a shield. Hey, and, and Mr. E is going in right now. He understands that Ling Ling did use his float. Great grab. Oh, no jump here. Catching the jump, and that oh, was so it. smart. That was Not going to do it just yet. And that's one thing you have to recognize. When your opponent doesn't have a jump, you have to capitalize on the situation. Yeah, and a character like Peach, you know, being able to go far, so far off stage because of having float. But we are going to see Mr. E taking a slow right here. It's facing all of his aerials. Um, definitely going to try to space around Ling Ling's shield, but Ling Ling is going to get in, tack on a quick 26%, 35. You know, the neutral game is like one of the things that you should, you definitely need to, uh, to be careful about in this matchup because... Yeah, losing neutral against Peach, you're going to take a lot of damage. And a Mr. E is playing damage. this so well right now, and I want to see some adaptations on Ling Ling's part, but because of the fact that he's, he is bringing it back, he is making slow changes. Yeah, you know? he's bringing, a, but Mr. E is bringing a lot of pressure right now. There's going to be big damage for the them. B. He has to be careful. Great nair. Oh my god. That he fair knew. beat out that fair. He so, knew. Yeah. It just came down to which came, which fair came out first, you know? Yeah. Oh, good up air. Not gonna do it just yet. Oh, just barely missing that fair. Keep in mind, at high percent, Lucina's up throw does kill. So that's something that that's something else. Oh my god, the up tilt not, not gonna connect. 
Oh, just barely missing, miss spacing that fair. And Ling Ling is bringing this all the way back. Let's see whether or not Ling Ling is going to be able to close that out. His shield looking like a skittle right now. Hey, and, uh, and at this point, if if uh, Mr. E does get the up throw, I, I think it's I think it's going to kill. Him. Definitely with rage. Oh, great, great fair spacing. As he does think a he just Mr. E that clutching out. it yeah, out, man. He super clutched it out. That fair. He was like, yeah, let me just space this properly. Space this against you. He spaced it perfectly. Perfectly. Actually caught Lindling as like at the end of it, which yeah, is Yeah, literally. Great. I think it still would have had the hitbox had he got him hit, but that spacing was phenomenal. Yeah. It, I, I, if that would have traded, and we would have seen like the DBZ trade. <laughs> Who does first? It probably would have been Lindling. Cause yeah, cause cross Lindling, stage, yeah, yeah, yeah Lindling, cross yeah. stage. A little rough. All right, and we are going to and FD. We're going back to FD. Oh. I'm surprised even Bennett. Yeah, I'm surprised too. I don't, I don't like it. Like you know, it's just swords on FD. I don't unless it's like melee. Swords, <laughs> swords, swords can uh, do a lot. Uh, you know, on the on the platforms because that you can shark. You have you have more you have more uh, opportunities to like kind of just get your opponent in, in combos. So I do understand, but uh, I am surprised that Mr. E didn't ban this. Yeah, he probably just feels confident. You know, he's oh, like, you know, big I, I lost game one. It's it's fine. Uh, it's not me. <laughs> okay, great jumping fair. Catching. Oh, I, I I do like it. Catching him just in case. Throwing the turn him in the face just in case he would have he would have jumped. Or like, uh, he was in a tech chase, so he would have had to like, uh, excuse me, not a tech chase, but like a tech situation. The stitch face. <laughs> Lingling with these stitch faces, bro. <laughs> Lingling with these stitch faces on FD. Oh, pick it up. No, the forward smash not gonna do it just yet. But I do like, I do like the uh, the option of that mm -hmm. because Lindley actually did come out with an aggressive he came, option. Yeah, he came down with an aggressive option, an aggressive uh, landing. But just barely misspacing it. Oh, that fair not gonna take it. The pat, the the patch. Oh, right. good tag. The media upy and then Lingling actually not being able to get the follow because uh, E fast fell drift to the ledge. And uh, he is kind of overextending when he's going super, super, super deep far off for stage. these edge guards. Yeah, uh, you know he has to notice that Lingling. Ling That's it. Great back. Yeah, and he has to notice that Lingling, Lingling, is floating, but he's not floating that far, that mm -hmm. far back. You know. Yeah. So there's no reason to go that, that deep, deep and put yourself in a perilous situation and just give up stage control because at that point, that's literally all you're doing. You're literally just giving Lingling Ling and Peach stage control. And keep and in mind, guys, this is winners top 32. Yeah. This is one your side. This is stacked, man. This is the fact that this this right here is just top 32, and these we have players of this caliber so far into the bracket. Hey, right now playing the neutral game, going around each other. Oh, oh good spot, dodge. This is big damage. Yeah, he, big damage indeed. As he takes, as he racks on 87% immediately. Mm -hmm. Good spacing, spacing low, kind of not necessarily low profiling, but sneaking under the nair. To get the punish with the back air. Spot dodge into the up B. Oh. Tries to get a back air. This forward throw is going to send Ling Ling off stage. Oh, I like the trade! Oh. He's living. No! Oh. Not like I thought this. he made it. Uh, it, 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 it was smart for Mr. Oh, oh yeah, that, no! was clean. that was clean. Beyond. Oh. Oh! oh! That was big brain. <laughs> that was big brain. He didn't have to do it to him. He really did not have to do it to him. And this is E. Nah, he had so, to do it so to him. So E does know, <laughs> he he, he do does know his footstools. <laughs> um, he had to do it to him. Def I definitely can't say that Ling Ling was not expecting this. Um, because a footstool on purpose is like... <laughs> yeah, that was just an optimal punish. Um, the, 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 that, yeah, that was def the punish that of was the, the century. Best optimal as punish. that nails Mr. E. Gives the second, him, yeah, the second gives them the game. second game. And well, sorry, well, game three gives them the second game in his favor. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And now the dude only has he only has one. He only has one game to play. Yeah, one game to win. Are we gonna see? Uh, let's see what the counter pick is coming from Ling Ling. Because I mean, besides that footstool, that game was actually kind of even. You know, pretty close. I know. Um, and if you're if you're Ling Ling. There's Probably nothing to be, if you're living, there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, you took yeah. you took game one. It's it's very very close in your favor. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just make, making a, uh, it's just all about making these small changes. Yeah. Okay. That was super unfortunate. That was, that was super unfortunate because Lindley died super. Yeah, super he early. died at like ten, I think. 
something crazy. He died super early. Yeah. But he's definitely a good enough player to bring this back. And uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm not, I wouldn't put it past it to see game five, to be honest. Yeah, most definitely not. Especially uh, if Mr. E is just going to up B out of shield, whatever. <laughs> but the thing is, but like, so in this stage, Lucina can up B out of shield and, and land on the top platform. To the platform. Oh, so, was... so she's safe. And as you notice, Mr. E had that weight. He had that weight down. He just mistimed it and misspaced uh, the punish. We see but we a bit this, more defensive now, mm -hmm. right? But this is an interesting counter pick from Ling Ling going to uh, Battlefield against his Sorty. As he's oh calling out the spot now, it's not going to get the punish. Holding but Ling Ling's actually just uh, you know, bring that up B and actually hit it. Oh, uh, Ling Ling trying to get the ledge trump. Okay, this is when he has to capitalize on this opportunity. Yeah, Mr. Especially. E is such high percent, mm -hmm. and, e, and Ling Ling with stage control, well, had not, it. Well, had it. Oh, good Tomahawk. Yeah. Back throw not going to take it, but is going to send Mr. E eye. off stand. That's it. Yep, down smash is going to do it. And 89%, man. So he's still living. Oh. He has to be careful with these upbeats out of shield. Um, especially, well, especially he's, he's not doing, doing them towards the top platform either. So he is being. He's, he's not, doing he's not a really safe. good job spacing them too. Because, I mean, he is doing them, but he's immediately, like, retreating. And whenever he sees. He'll see what Ling Ling is trying to do to punish. Whether or not he wants to fastball through the platform. That back air, not going to take it. 144 on Ling Ling tacked on. Let's see whether or not Ling Ling can stack. Um, get a little bit of extra credit, or if Mr. E will just close out the stock. And we are going to see Ling Ling just retreating, trying to uh, wait for Mr. E to do something to tack on a lot of damage. 27 tacked on after that down air into the turnip. Yeah, he, uh, Ling Ling is playing a bit a bit more of a defensive play style. Mm -hmm. um, kind of just like focusing more on spacing on, on, uh, on Mr. Ooh, e. And that would be what this is the here. kind of style that we saw at the beginning, right? This is the that kind of style that took him in game one. And we have 71% uh, of extra credit come from Ling Ling. Uh, let's see whether or not he's going to be able to close out the stock fairly early, especially with... Uh, the low percent that he has would put him in a really great spot. Oh, oh! oh! What a great wait. My God! What a wait. And that's the thing. You actually use the fact that in this game you can like just charge it forever now. Yeah. Well, almost forever. <laughs> what seems like forever. It, to, yeah, Ling Ling, is getting, Ling Ling is getting oh, no. the download on that, on what Mr. E is doing there. Because, if, like oh. I said earlier, Mr. E is retreating through the platform, not to the platform. So Ling Ling is realizing that he is doing that. Knowing that he's gonna land in front of him and calling him out. Let's see. Yeah, I yeah. knew this, the the S rash was coming. Because he knows that uh, anytime that Lily floats, he usually just tries to come in so and come aggressively down with uh, an, with an cover with the, you know, yeah. with the bomber, right? So at that point, oh, great oh, wow. answer by Mr. E as he as the backer seals the stock. Four throw. Oh, uh, that's he, it. That's jump. Oh, oh he lives. good recovery. Hey, never <coughs> mind. It's not over until the victory screen. Oh, down. He has too much rage to confirm it to an up there. Which is super really unfortunate, unfortunate right now because he needs... that's big damage. Yeah, he needs that's, all of his percent. I think 20% just off of a grab. And yeah, we are going to see Ling Ling playing the waiting game. Waiting for Mr. E to throw out an option to so punish that. And that fair, not going to take it just yet. Sitting at 159, Mr. E. Will we see him surmount? And nope. they're going to do it. And like I said, I wouldn't put it past Ling Ling to bring it to a game five. That defensive style that he that he implemented this game is the same one that he implemented in game one, mm -hmm. right? Where he's just waiting for Mr. E to to, to kind of just whiff something, and uh -huh. he's just immediately putting all this damage on him. Yep. And now right. Mr. E has to go back. Uh, the counter pick. Yeah. He has to just keep in mind that if Ling Ling is gonna do that, he can't just be swinging. He can't just swing. Uh, not. I'm, I'm not gonna say recklessly because it's Mr. E. Mm -hmm. Um. But he, he needs to just be careful of what he He when has he to be a little bit more calculated with his yeah, swing. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, we saw that game, this this last game four, that he was just doing so much up B. Like I told you, he was just doing up B. And there was one time that he, I think one time throughout the whole game, that he retreated to the platform. But Ling Ling realizing that he would retreat through the platform, Ling Ling would just wait it out and just punish accordingly. But here we go, game four, uh, excuse me, game five. Yep, and we are going to Unova. Hey, here we go with all the damage. Already 55%, and it's only been 15 seconds. Okay. And I like it. You know, Mr. E is making these adaptations, you know. He is, uh, wait, he's kind of, he, he's being, he is uh, calculating his swings more. Okay. I like that the yeah, weight, just spacing. to see it, just, to see, it just to see what he did. There. All 
almost catching him with that up air, but not really. Good fair coming from Mr. E. Having Ling Ling off stage, just spot dodge, good punish. Not gonna do just a lot of damage, but you know, Mr. E sitting at 68, Ling Ling at 90 now. I like that, the way oh. oh. Uh, he, he did expect Ling Ling to jump, which is why he married. Um, but you know, forward smash was definitely the, the ultimate punish right there. Oh, good back here coming from right. Ling Ling, and now Mr. E off stage. I didn't have stage. to hit that hard. Oh, good wait. Oh, good dolphin. side B. Not, uh, dancing blade. Da dolphin, dolphin slashes, slashes up B. Yeah, my bad. Dancing blade. <laughs> I stopped too. I was like, dolphin, wait. No. No, 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 no. no. That's dolphin slashes it. up B. So whenever we see him kill with up B That's is cool. when. Yep. All right, but good spacing coming from Mr. E. Let's see how much extra credit he could get tacked on, whether or not Ling Ling will be able to close the stock out very soon. Yeah, that was great DI on Ling Ling's up smash. It you could tell that he was actually even anticipating that, yeah. if anything, because he just knew it was that coming. immediately, yeah. yeah. He knew it was coming. He DI'd it like straight out the gate. And Mr. E making all the appropriate calculations. Oh, oh, he's swinging. E, E, do it he's a local, swinging. do it a local. He's swinging. Back throw. Yep, give him stage control. Acha. Calls out the jump. Oh, good ledge jump into the back here. Not going to take it just yet, but Ling Ling is off stage with 91% tacked on. And Mr. E sitting at 140 with a lot of rage, but that back air is indeed going to take it from Ling Ling. I'm surprised that he downed it as opposed, as opposed to back air because uh, the ending hitbox actually just uh, missed, missed Ling Ling. And Mr. E playing this oh, very good popular up style here. right now, he, um, he, uh, he understood that he was a bit reckless last game with those uh, massive up Bs. And now Ling Ling is Ling Ling's the one on the fence right now, trying to get this. He is downloading him at the ledge, and we know that Mr. E is so dominant at the ledge. But all it takes is one combo from Ling Ling, right? As yeah. soon as as soon as that happens, that's already 50, 70 percent, man. Depending on whether or not his execution is oh, on par. I was waiting for two. Yeah, he like, needs like, oh, oh, he no. needs full stage to be able to just carry him across the stage, tack on 80 percent. Oh, good spacing on the up tilt. Interesting option though. Uh, I thought he was gonna try and continue the combo, but maybe he tried. Uh, maybe he thought the limit. Stitch face. Yeah. This is like the fifth stitch face else. this set. That's it. Oh, and there does it. Mr. E posed to take this match from Lindley and send him into the loser's bracket. It's just, it's crazy to think. It's every time that we've seen Mr. E playing so dominant, is he gets so much extra credit that first stock. Yeah, it is super hard. To, oh, oh, speaking of extra credit, this is where Lin Lin wants to do it right now. Oh, I like the Peach Bomber attempt, unfortunately. At the, yeah, at the ledge, but not going to just... The positioning uh, was off, yeah. yeah um, going to miss space towards the ledge. Oh! He tried saw, to get nasty. I saw some shizness coming for me. Oh, my God. Oh. He, he has no jump. Yeah, good recovery coming from Mr. Uh, excuse me, Ling Ling. Immediately landing fair to make her landing as safe as possible and go, just going for that grab, knowing that Ling Ling was pressured into shield because if he didn't, he was going to get hit with the fair. And we see Mr. E coming with this phenomenal spacing, a lot of pressure, but sitting only at 105 on his second stock as opposed to Ling Ling sitting at 97 on his last tournament stock. Yeah, no, and the thing is, like, you know, if you're Ling Ling, you can't really use this uh, this pa this defensive playstyle that you used before because oh, that you don't really have a choice taken it right there. Oh, up and I'm gonna do it. And Nair is gonna, gonna take it. it, and we're gonna see whether or not Ling Ling gets his R and Jesus, whether or not he can tack on a crazy he, amount of damage just from using a turn. And he, like, gets a shield oh break, my God, a shield God. break! <laughs> that, that is plot armor, <laughs> indeed. Oh, As good spacing and the shield poke on the fair, and that fair gonna send Ling Ling off stage. That fair and is gonna take it. Gonna do it. And yes, Mr. and e. Mr. E taking it in a close game five Ling situation. Ling. That was insane. It out.